I had to dig my backpack out of my basement for this actually. So that was a bit of a time. It's never a proper video unless my dog comes to visit, right? He doesn't like the camera, especially when it's a school video. <laughs> Up and welcome back to my channel. I am quite sad to be filming this video, but I mean like no, sorry, it's all just sadness. Back to school is a rough time for me. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a what is in my backpack along with a mini school supplies haul because I got a few new school supplies that I'm going to be showing you in this video. But I'm also going to be showing you some old school supplies from last year or even the year before because we love reusing school supplies over here. So I'm basically just going to be going over everything that's in my school bag. This video was super requested by you guys because I posted on my Instagram story a little question box. I wanted to ask you guys for some back to school video recommendations and this video was super requested so I wanted to make this video for you and if you ever want to get involved in my videos like that because I do a lot of that type of stuff where I do recommendations and sometimes I do Q&A's in my videos or even on my Instagram stories. Make sure that you go follow my Instagram if you want to be more involved in my videos. It's at Karina underscore underscore Natalie and also go check out my Visco if you want to see my pictures and stuff like that And before I get started make sure that you subscribe down below and turn on my post notifications. So yeah without further ado Let's get started. Oh no, my dog's like sitting on my backpack. This is oh my gosh It's so heavy. This is my backpack. This is my backpack from last year I did not get a new bag. This is a Fjall Raven Konkin bag. However, it's not like the classic Konkin bag that I feel like a lot of people usually have, which I have one of those, but I don't use it for school. Basically, this bag is so much better than one of the regular Konkin bags because first of all, it's bigger. Second of all, the material is way thicker than a regular Konkin bag material. It's like so much thicker. It's like a thick sort of canvas material. And also the straps are padded like this, whereas like the regular Konkin straps are sort of like this material this like thin material so like that's gonna break in two seconds it also has a laptop compartment and all in all this bag is just perfect for school so if you are gonna get a Konkin bag for school please do not buy one of the like basic Konkin bags because you can't really fit anything in there I don't really understand how people can fit all their school stuff in there because I can barely fit all my school stuff in here so like how can you fit it in there? If it's still available, I'll link it down below just because I didn't get this bag a year ago, but I will link it in the description box if it's still available. So yeah, that's that. So, first thing I'm gonna show you is the laptop part. It has this little compartment in the back where you unzip it, and the good thing about this is that it's all padded and stuff, so if you have a laptop in here, that is not gonna be like hitting like a hard surface or anything if you put your bag on the floor. So it's very padded and well-suited for a laptop. The first thing that I have in here is this notebook, this is new. I got this at Target in my back to school supply shopping video. If you click the little eye up there, it'll be directed to my um, school supply shopping video. So go check that out if you wanna see um, me shopping at Target for some of the school supplies that I show you in this video. So yeah, this is the notebook that I got for my science notes. I take a lot of science notes um, for studying where basically I write like aesthetic notes um, to study off of. And this is one of the five star um, notebooks. It is a one subject notebook just because I only need it for one subject. Um, but it's nice, it's really thick and brand new. I really needed a new one. It has this cool little tie-dye print on it, so. And then, of course, I have my laptop. <laughs> this is my school laptop. The case is kind of gross, but I don't really need to buy a new one just because it works, so it's doing the job just fine. My school laptop I use for pretty much everything, and we use our laptops all the time in class and stuff, so it's good to have it easy access just in this little um, laptop case. And the last thing that I have in here is this folder. This is from Target and it is new once again. It does match the notebook that I just showed you. I, I really wanted a folder just to keep all my stuff in. If I had like a, a loose like worksheet or something that I need to do for homework, it's good to just have it um, to, just to put in the folder. I think that's really effective. So that's all for the laptop compartment, just easy access stuff that I need. And then for the main compartment, there is only one main compartment on this bag and then there's a small pocket at the front. So when you unzip the main compartment, it just kind of exposes everything, I guess. I don't know why I said that. Here is <laughs> the main compartment. The first thing that I have in here is my water bottle. I use swell bottles when I go to school because they are nice and skinny, so they fit really well in this bag specifically. And also they keep your water super cold, which is the main reason why I love using these water bottles because they keep your water cold um, all throughout the school day, which is definitely really, really helpful. I definitely recommend getting one of these water bottles if you are looking for a new one. Next up is my pencil case. This pencil case is like two years old or something so it's kind of dirty but nothing's broken so we're gonna keep using it and it's from the brand Kipling I've been using this style of pencil cases for like 
four years now and I love this pencil case so much. So first thing I have are some pencils. Um, I need more pencils, I know. I only have two. I use these um, mechanical pencils. These are like a really popular brand of mechanical pencils, but these are just the ones I use. They're great, you know. A pencil to pencil, I don't really know what else to say about it. And then down here, I have all of my fine liners. I don't really get that much use out of them. I feel like I mostly just have these in here from like middle school, but I still have them in my pencil case just in case I need them. And they're from the brand Stedler. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. And then when you open my pencil case, I have a few more pens and things like that. First thing I have, this is actually new. I got this at Daiso, which is like a little Japanese store in LA. So yeah, this is just white out. I think that this is actually really, really useful if you're writing notes or something and you mess it up and you just want something a little, to cover up a little word or two. This is actually really, really useful. So I'm really happy about this. And it was like super inexpensive. So I definitely recommend getting some white out. And then I have these, which are these little post-it notes. And these are also from Daiso and they're neon and they have these little um, prints on them. I think they're super cute. I thought this would just be good um, to use if I need to like mark a page in a book or something like that. And I think that these are definitely a lot cuter than like these sticky notes. And then I have a few other black pens. So I have this Sharpie fine liner and then I have this Sharpie like the thick marker, which surprisingly I've gotten a lot of use out of. So maybe just throw one of these in your pencil case. And then I also have a little like paper me, um, what's it called, ballpoint pen. And then I have paper reinforcements. I use these a lot actually whenever I rip paper in my binder. These are actually quite useful. I've had these for a few years now. So if you just invest in a pack, you could use these for like a good three years or so. And then I have my highlighters. These highlighters I think I got at Costco in like a big pack. It's called Bic. <laughs> yeah, these highlighters are really, really good though. I use them for my um, science notes and they're just perfect. They're nice and neon. They don't like bleed through the page or anything. I just really like the color. So that is my pencil case. And then I have this little um, binder. This is a new binder that I got from Target. It's a little baby binder. It's nice and small. Ain't that cute? It's so cute. Oh my goodness. And this is just like a nice little notebook to have. I probably will be bringing this to school every day. I'll probably be using it more at home if I need to like take notes or maybe like a little schedule out thing. I'm not really sure, but um, we'll find some use for it. Don't worry. And then I have these Papermate pens. I haven't taken them out of the package yet because they're brand new, but these are the pens that I use religiously for my science notes. They are um, ballpoint pens and it just has all the colors of the rainbow. And this pen set is so, so good for writing notes. I would really, really recommend getting a set of these for taking notes and stuff because they're super colorful and they're a really good set of pens. Next up is my planner. This is new. I got it from Target and it's the really cool tie-dye print again, but it's sort of pastel. I like, I'm obsessed with these colors though. And this is like a 2019 to 2020 planner. I actually didn't use a like written planner last year. I used like Google Calendar. So it will be kind of different for me to be using a written planner again, but um, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I think it's gonna be really helpful to like see all of my events and stuff on paper rather than on a computer screen so and this was actually on sale which is always good so and then I got this brand new composition book from Target it's from the brand five star once again with the matching tie-dye print of course I had a theme going and it's really nice I think it's really like aesthetic it has like the white border I use these books for writing science notes in class like when my teacher is giving a lecture and I'm really excited about this fresh notebook and then the last thing that I have in here is my binder this is old I have not taken out the papers yet which is why it's all chunky and disgusting and full of school life and so that's why it just looks super ratchet and gross I'm sorry I'm probably going to invest in new binders because it's breaking the plastic sheet came off so I put this snazzy little folder on it. I'm probably gonna get a new binder, but I just wanted to show you this binder for now because I keep big binders like this in my bag. I have two binders because my schedule alternates like days. So this is for my day one, as you can tell by the label. And so I'm, ah, sorry, oh. Definitely recommend putting one of these little duct tape things in your binder. It's really, really useful, so. And then the last thing is my front little pocket. I just have a few little knickknacks in there. First things first, I have gum. I need a new pack of gum. This is disgusting. Like, I feel like this is all used up actually. Oh no, sorry, there's two pieces of gum left in there from like last year, so they're probably old and stale. And then I have my AirPods. I either bring AirPods or I bring like wired earbuds like this to school. Whatever I'm kind of feeling, I just don't want to use them that often um, in a school day, but it is good to have them at school, so. Say bye to the camera. Bye.
So yeah, that's all for the video. That's everything in my school bag. And those are also some of the new school supplies that I got at Target in the past week or so. The start of school is kind of nerve wracking and I'm not the most excited to be making this video. But the good thing is that I get to make back to school videos for you. So make sure you leave all of your back to school video recommendations in the description box. I have a few more planned that you guys have um, suggested. So um, get excited for those. Make sure that you subscribe down below and turn on my post notifications so you get notified whenever I upload these back to school videos because there's gonna be a lot more coming in the next two weeks or so so get excited for that make sure that you give the video a thumbs up and also go follow up my instagram and my visco if you want to see my pictures and stuff like that and especially my instagram if you want to um be more involved with my videos so yeah thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it i love you all so much and i will see you in my next video bye